Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm just going to be doing a quick update on Tarden Dane's Indie Read Along. So, it's been a bit of a crazy, you know, couple of months really for both Todd and myself, I think. And we've both sort of fallen off the ball a little bit, but we're both hopefully getting back to it. Uh, I've read only one indie book this month, which was Fox News Fuckfest by Mandy DeSandra, so I'm going to talk about that in a second. I've actually already reviewed this separately because it was picked by Biggie for my Cat Picks My TBR video as well. But I kind of just wanted to film a quick update as well to let you know that, you know, as far as we're concerned, the indie read along is still going. And and as many people who would like to join in with us are welcome. All you got to do, read at least one indie book a month. And uh, preferably talk about it, but you know. So, Mandy DeSandra is the pseudonym of a bizarro writer. And Fox News Fuckfest is very typical of her stuff. It's kind of like uh, erotica, but also political satire. Let me read you the blurb, actually. So, Fox News thought it would be just be another day at the office. There's a typo in it. They thought wrong. The Liberal Radicals teamed up with the Teamsters to poison the Fox News water supply with a designer drug that makes them act out their most deviant sexual fantasies. The drug spreads through the halls of Fox News until it turns it into a fair and balanced fuckfest. In Mandy DeSandra's 10th book, she tells her most epic, bizarro political erotica yet. It is Tom Rackman's The Imperfectionist meets Gonzo Hustler Porn featuring Lou Dobbs' Mexican omelette cum craving, Scientology creation squirt story, Stevia shaker sex, Emmy Award masturbation, patriotic facials, DVD tax cut fucks, Republican rim jobs, b b <laughs> Republican rim jobs, Bill O'Reilly vibrator roller coaster, and the coming of the alpha billionaire Butrons. So obviously, it's very much a parody. But just some of what I think is hilarious is some of the uh, like similes. I'm trying to um, see if I can find one. So again, obviously it's it's setting up uh, the the redneck Americans, I suppose. And uh, so Michelle Malkin replied, "Their pussy eating skills are worse than the Obamacare website." She reached under her skirt and pulled down her red lace thong. She paraded her shaved vagina with pride. It glistened like Mount Rushmore on a spring day. One of the boys said, God bless America, I must taste it. Yes, Malkin replied. You need to take those tongs and use them on this pussy. Make it feel like America was under Reagan, a shining beacon on a hill. Let me see which one of you is a true patriot. Use your tongue better than Obama does during his teleprompter speeches. The oldest of the boys went first. Not very experienced, he licked Michelle Malkin's vagina. He was sloppy, reminding her of a hungry dog eating Purina puppy chow. He even tried sticking his tongue inside her delicate petite pussy, but he fumbled finding the right spot, just like when Mitt Romney tried to connect with America's heartland. It just gets like, some of these, just it's just like line after line that just, they it cracks me up. He licked until Malkin was sick of his piss poor technique. She pushed, she pushed the 20 something away and said, go masturbate in the corner like a black drug addict. <laughs> I mean, it's so wrong. It's like, and like, I must stress that like, the person who's behind the pseudonym or whatever is not like a racist or, I don't know, weird for writing bizarre or erotic. Or it's, it's just, it's incredibly humorous, at least to me anyway. I don't know, maybe other people have different different leanings. I mean, it says here actually in the, uh, in the bio, uh, last I will state before people ask, I am an independent neither on the left nor the right. I enjoy politics the way the Joker enjoys crime. I just want to cause trouble. And you get that sense. It is that kind of book. You, you could enjoy it no matter what your polit political point of view, I think. Although, having said that, I mean, some of the Amazon reviews are really harsh to it. And it's like, well, for what it is, I thought it was a pretty good book for like, especially for like a bizarro, almost like a parody. Like, it's a very strange genre of book and you don't see many of them and you definitely don't see many of them done well. So I was impressed. So I actually gave it a four out of five and would read Mandy DeSandra again, even though there were a lot of political references that did just go like whoosh, straight over my head because I'm British. But then I think DeSandra has got a book out called David Cameron and the Pig People of Cornwall. So there is that. I could read that one. So anyway, that's it for my quick sort of update for the indie read-along for August. Hopefully we'll be back with a vengeance in September. I'm actually hoping to read Life After Dane by Edward Lorne E here on uh, BookTube and AuthorTube. Partly because it's got my name in it, but partly just because I want to read some of his stuff as well. Because I like some of the, of the same books that he likes reading. So yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. But in the meantime, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.